Good afternoon, I am Dr. Petra Hines and I am a general practitioner trained in Cuba and I now work private practice. You will find a lot of information going around now about dengue and most of it is just too much information for the regular person to handle. So a lot of epidemiology, a lot of characteristic of the mosquito, a lot about the eradication of breeding sites, holy of things. But the common person wants to hear, how do I get dengue? What do I do if I get it? How can I prevent it if I can prevent it? And what are symptoms to look for? What are the warning signs of something big or something greater? First thing first, how do we prevent it? We have an epidemic. There's no way to prevent dengue now. We just need to try to prevent the, the moving of dengue from one per person to the other. And so we're talking about mosquito repellents. With DEET, those are the synthetic ones like your OFF. And there's a Jamaican brand too. And your natural ones like citronella. And we have some mosquito candles that are out there too that are again, fairly natural and organic. That's how we're gonna prevent transmission from me to my child or from my child to me. What are the symptoms? Symptoms can be any combination, one or any combination of a whole long list of symptoms. So it feels like a flu, but you feel exceptionally weak and tired. Joint pains, number one complaint. Joint and muscle pain. There is headache, and a lot of the adults come with headache. The kids tend to come with a fever, but the adults really come with a headache and joint pains. The children get dehydrated, their tongue looks dry, and they look sick, and they look weak, and they just don't want to eat, and they don't want to sleep, and they don't want to dance, and they're all fussy. That's it. The children tend to have fever. Adults can have fever too, but a lot of the adults that I've been seeing now don't have a fever, and they come complaining only of joint pain and headache, and a bad headache too. Babies are coming with nausea, vomiting, and some come with belly pain. I've even seen one that had diarrhea. So you can have one or any combination of all of those. What do you do if you find out that you have one of these symptoms? Go to the doctor, go to your GP, go to your health center, go to the hospital. Go to your GP or your health center if you just have some symptoms. If there's a call for alarm, you go to the emergency room. No. It is your responsibility as a patient, as a person, as a mother, as parent, to make sure that what your child is getting is actually indicated for dengue. You are to get Cetamol or Cetamol combined with Codeine. So in Jamaica, you're going to get Panadol, Paracetamol, Cetamol, Cetaphen, um, Panadine, um, Paracodenc. You're going to get all of those. Wait! And these are indicated for dengue. Someone just knocked on the door. Anyways, these are indicated for dengue. What you're not supposed to get is brufen, aleve, cataflam, voltaren, um, motrin, aspirin. You're not supposed to get any of those. So you're gonna read the boxes. When you get your prescription from the doctor, ask the doctor again Doctor, um, is there anything here that's contraindicated for dengue? You have a responsibility to do that. It's your life, it's your child's life. And then when you go to fill your prescription at the pharmacy, say, pharmacies, um, is dengue, my child have, you know, um, everything here is for dengue, right? Yeah. You have to check and double check. You don't allow your child to die and then sue the doctor. You make sure you check and you double check. Doctors are human beings. No. After all of that, you've been to the doctor, you get the medication, you get taking them. With any viral illness, rest, fluids, and vitamin C are the mainstay of treatment. No matter what you do, these are the three things that you're going to have to do. Rest, vitamin C, and fluids. So you have to drink. So for those picky children that don't want to eat, leave them alone. A few days of the virus will not kill them if they don't eat. But what you want them to do is drink. A lot of fluid, buy pedialyte pops, get coconut water, get water, 
get all those things get anything that they like in fluid right and just give it to them when they feel a little bit better you know they're gonna start eating again so they like pita pops when dengue time come around they like pita pops when they're sick right so just buy the pita light in the kiss cup up right now make sure that you ask your doctor if there's any possibility of getting tested at the office for dengue because the dengue tests are available the dengue tests are reliable and they can be done and they're very cheap you don't have to beat yourself to you know wait for a long week or two to get the results and not no 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 instantly 15 minutes right no if your doctor doesn't have it i'm looking for one if your doctor doesn't have it a dengue test look like a pregnancy test yeah you can see it here right it looks like a pregnancy test so it, it's marked dengue and this is one that i just did and as you can see you see the control line at c and you will see another line at g that this one is actually positive right of about 50 tests that we have done last week i've gotten about 35 positive and some of these persons who are positive and strongly positive did not have a fever so do not look for fever with dengue fever all right headache joint pains muscle pains fever anything that feel like a flu anything that makes you weak get tested ask a doctor can you test me do you have the test here is there any way that i can go and get tested and get tested a test costs around a thousand dollars two thousand dollars they're about it is worth it then you take your medication get your rest get your vitamin c and that's all dengue will go by itself it's a virus it's a viral illness you don't need antibiotics for dengue unless you have something else that comes to the dengue because you know, it is flu season still and some kids will have runny nose and a pneumonia and a little bronchitis and a little this and a little that the antibiotic won't kill you but it's not for the dengue all right so it's regular cetamol or a combination of cetamol and something else but no aspirin no brufen no motrin none of those things no none of those things right no aleve and you're going to just rest take your vitamin c get your fluids in and that's it if for any reason your child begins to cough and cough up some streaks of blood or blow the nose and see blood or get blood shot in the eyes anywhere that you see blood and you think you have dengue you get to the emergency room all right you're going to be need you're going to need to be tested for something else or you're going to be treated for dengue hemorrhagic fever or shock syndrome right so this is it about dengue ask your doctor to test you.